A people are defined by culture. Clans were there before tribes, and tribes existed long before the national boundaries. Every last Saturday of February, Bengoni people of Bengoni culture in Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and South Africa commemorate the Nkwala traditional ceremony under the patronage of Ngwenyama. In Kosi Yamakosi, Paramount Chief in Pezeni. The Ngonis came with this ceremony from South Africa. However, in 1898, it was banned by the British colonial government after a battle between British troops and Ngoni warriors led by Nsingo, the son of Mpezeni II, at Fort Jameson, which is now called Jipata. The Ntwala ceremony was revived in 1980 by Paramount Chief Mpezeni III to enable the Ngoni people to pay homage to their ancestral spirits, commemorate their victories during their tribal wars, during their migration from current day South Africa, and praise the Lord for giving them fresh crops in the fields. In the modern day world, The Ntwala is recognized in Zambia and surrounding countries as a cultural custodian. The Zambian media has a general perspective of the Ntwala and what it represents to the citizens and the media. Television producer and presenter of tourism and culture programs for Zambian National Broadcasting Corporation, ZNBC, Samuel Machishi, explains... In Zambia, it represents the very best of uh, the traditions that the Ngonis do possess from since time in memorial when they migrated from down South Africa into Zambia. As you might be aware, and history has it, the Ngoni speaking people are domiciled in Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia, and Malawi. And we are delighted to have the paramount chief in Belwa from Malawi, who I'm told is a part of the 2022 he celebrations. That's and that excites the Zambians the because they know that despite the being in these different locations, people. the Ngonis are still united. And so that in itself is something that Zambians treasure a lot. <laughs> Adding weight to the sentiments from fellow broadcaster, entertainment presenter and producer for KBN TV, Machamanda Machamanda, also known as Machamatics, sees it as a form of identity. It, it represents uh, our rich national heritage and culture that we have as a people of Zambia. If you understand in Kuala very well, it's an integration of about three countries, yourselves in Malawi, there's uh, South Africa and Mozambique, plus ourselves Zambia. And of course, when we kind of gather around in this space and showcase, you know, our culture itself, it brings a good time representation of identity. You know, uh, you, you really have to be known where you come from. And Zambia is actually a bigger space. And the eastern side has actually adopted this particular ceremony that they come together and celebrate about. So as a youth, uh, it should embed and inculcate, you know, uh, the natural aspect as you nature children and let them grow that you have an identity and where you come from. You know, you, you wouldn't be you, obviously, if uh, I didn't know that you come from Malawi, you understand. So when you come to Zambia, there's about 72 tribes, and each and every tribe has got its own representation. And the Ngonis are very much uh, unique 
with the representation of the Nkwala. And if you look at the interaction here of the people that have come in, they've come in from, from, the, from different spaces of Zambia in trying to appreciate what these others have. At the time, there's going to be, say, another ceremony, say, in Western Province, one of the biggest, uh, they'll troop to that side. So it means integration and growing up, really. With such an outlook from Zambia, Malawian royalty graced the event as well. They were recognized and honored. The Queen of the Lomwes, traditional authority Kaduya, attended the event, celebrated with them, and her people were one of the highlights of the event. Kumambuangkwala <laughs> To Inkos Yamakos in Bela the Fifth of Mzimba in northern Malawi, it is an issue of blood and family. We are one. So when they have activities here, we have to support them. We have to be together. Uh, so too, when we have activities back home, they always come and support us because we are one. Otherwise, if we're going to take this family ahead, we need to support each other. They said one cannot do it alone, but uh, when you're a group, you can easily do, it, uh, do things um, um, easily. So that's why we come here to Zambia. Each and every time there's a function here, uh, we make sure that we are here. Um, it's not just in Pezene. Um, Zwangendawa also has Inkosi uh, Yamakosi Zurugama in Songea. So we are one family. Uh, so we pay each other visits, uh, make sure that we remind each other um, of our cultural activities. It shouldn't die. We, 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 we need to promote our culture. So whatever is happening here should be happening in Malawi, should also be happening in Tanzania. So we encourage each other to do these things. The kinsmanship of Malawi and Zambia can never be overstated having the kings and tribes from both nations, sharing of tribal groups and languages. The Malawi High Commissioner to Zambia, Margaret Kamoto, emphasized on the culture beyond the dance and festivities to the call of living standards that trade should expand among the proximal areas. Historically and culturally, Malawi and Zambia were one country. We are still one people. We support one another, whether they are cultural events, 
or any other event. In times of happiness and in times of sadness, Malawi and Zambia always stand together. Once people meet in person, it's very, very easy to do business. We have a lot of products in Malawi which are badly needed here in Zambia. We can talk about onions, scrap metal, beans, all the agricultural products that we grow in Malawi are in high demand here in Zambia. Rice, uh, chilies, and other products. Yesterday, before this Chwara ceremony, I made a courtesy call on the Paramount Chief in Pezeni. I expressed our gratitude for inviting us to this function, but also the way our two peoples are living together. Malawians and Zambians live together harmoniously. So we went to thank him for that. But we also went there to mention that we will be coming to his territory from time to time because the one-stop border post will be opening shortly. So there will be a lot of activity in his territory. Malawians should be ready to do a lot of exporting of Malawi products. Let us grow products in you know, high, big, big quantities so that we export them to Zambia, DRC, Angola and other uh, neighboring countries. The Ntwala ceremony is grand and well supported with lots of advertising, live television time and lots of dignitaries. The lead market of the ceremony, Akimali, says this is achieved through the outlook that the corporate world have of the ceremony. So we, I say we go after the sponsors by engaging them, telling them what they will benefit from this event. So most of the times we we'll we look at the being, you know, if you've seen most of the exposure that we put around, their presence here is what sells to them. So when you tell them that we want you to be sponsors, it's based on what we are going to offer them. And their presence being recognized when they are here. So because of that, I think it also sells for them to be seen around. As looking at Inchuala currently, I think it's the biggest ceremony in the country. And it's the most marketed ceremony compared to any other ceremony. So every company would want to be associated with this event by all means. The event, I would say, for this year it was about 1.2 million kwacha that we budgeted for. And uh, for Nchuala, most of the people, the Nchuala ends today. Actually for us, Nchuala starts tomorrow. Because that's what, that's what will take us to the next Nchuala. We do not sit back and wait for the next time. Nchuala starts once the Nchuala finishes. And that's when the planning is done. And that's when we start engaging people who can work with you in the next... Because if you do this at the last minute, you find that most of people won't be engaged. And then the whole program, you end up failing to achieve your budget. Branching from the Ntwala and the live broadcasts of the cultural ceremonies on Zambian televisions are heavily supported by the Zambian corporate world and Ministry of Tourism. Predominantly sponsored by the Zambia Tourism Agency, which is under the Ministry of Tourism. But when you look around, all these uh, placards that you see around, these are the people that come in hand every time we have a bigger ceremony. So it shows really that everyone is interested in upholding the Zambian tradition. The Ntwala 2022 ceremony was graced for the first time by His Excellency the Zambian President Hakainde Hichilema and it was themed around healing and rebuilding one Zambia after a divisive and smearing election period. On whether cultural identification can and may divide people, Machamanda said the message is and will always be one Zambia. We have our motto here, which is One Zambia, One Nation. It doesn't matter uh, where you come from when it comes out to certain participations. But this is just 
a unique recognition of, to say, of us saying these are the Ngonis and respect this, this is a tradition. Even if I come here as a Lala from Serenje, I don't have to come here with my regional aspect like, well, I come from there, I can't come and support them, I'm a politician, I can't come here. For instance, this is being graced by a Republican president who is uh, a president of also a political party. But that doesn't mean that it should be away, you know what I mean, from, from this celebration here. It means the coming of togetherness. If you heard from the theme from the MC saying healing and coming of togetherness is what the Zambians are all about at the same time. Many Zambians, when you have a president gracing such a momentous occasion, it, it shows that the president is interested in the people, in the people in very urban areas as well as in his culture as well. So you, you will notice that in his... Uh, presidential campaigns in a build up to the elections, the president, one of the campaign messages was Zambia has got to unite. Uh, politics divided Zambians at regional level, district level, and on tribal lines in certain instances. So he comes here, he comes from the southern part of Zambia uh, when you talk about his tribal origins, but he wants to unify Zambians as a father of the nation. So he comes here bringing in that unity, and when he shows up, Everyone feels a part of the Republic. To the Queen of the Lomwe, who are known for a very grand sermon of their own, the Mlako Alome, this was a lesson to take home. <laughs> ngati anthu ndu komaso ngati anthu aziko limozi kugawani sana zimapangisa chitu ku mbuyo ndinene kuti kunoko kuli makampani eh amene so ayika kwambiri zikhalidwe ngeno kwambiri ineyo ndasangalala komaso ndatengirapo kuzira kuti zita machitikaso zimene zimadera mwathu kusiya zina komano anthu azikhalira limozi anthu aziendera limozi zikhadiswa anthu aziendera kheso kundala anthu aziendera limozi cholinga chonena kuti chitu kuko chizipita basongolo chifukwa ngati anthu sakuendera limozi chitu kuko sichimaenda kuno komaso sichimapita basongolo to maintain the cultures will not come cheap there is cross border activity that is in the hands of government and some items that are used may become scarce and the animal skins are of endangered species. On the endangered animal skins, Zambia has laws that permit hunting at specific times in order to strike a balance of preserving culture and wildlife. If you look at the amount of skin that is used at this particular event, this skin is not a skin that they all go and get at the same time. It takes a lot of time. Each of the, each of the group, they've kept this skin maybe for about five years. Five years, once a year, the Zawa allows certain amount of animals to be killed. Just a certain amount of animals. So you're looking at meaning from now that Inchuala has ended. Up to the next Inchuala, we're only allowed to do that killing once. So we allow the animals to actually populate and grow in numbers. Up to the next Inchuala ceremony. So I would say, it's like you're keeping chickens and say, okay, once in a while, we can eat some of these chickens, but at the end of the day, we don't finish them all. Inko Siamako Simbelo the fifth encouraged that culture should continue while paying special attention to the preservation of the wildlife through adapting to animal skins of domestic animals. Now you can't really find a leopard skin like this. It's not easy for you to get one like this. If you get, you might be arrested. But you know, um, we in Gones are believe, uh, 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 we believe in rearing animals. It's, it, it shouldn't be um, the leopard only, not, 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 not the natural uh, animals that are there. We need now to start using the goat skins. We need to start using the, uh, the, the, the cow skins. Those things will forge ahead our, uh, um, our culture. We shouldn't lose our, our culture because now uh, animals are, are no longer there that we can find to use. But we, we are actually keeping animals uh, in our homes. Those animals should be used um, uh, to protect our, uh, to promote our culture, find the, uh, the dressing for our culture, and then uh, forge, forge ahead with our culture. But otherwise, we cannot say because um, uh, these animals have now become scarce and then we are no longer um, going to do our, practice our culture, and then that would be wrong. But let us take this up, uh, use the animals that we have, um, the cow, uh, the goats, and the sheep that are there. All of them have got animal skins. 
High Commissioner Kamoto calls on chiefs and district commissioners to hold hands and work together in all spheres. Once there are conflicts, you know, where there are people, these things are inevitable. So wherever there are conflicts here and there, the chiefs are the ones that deal with those conflicts. So after making a KTSA call on Paramount Chief in Pezeni, I'll also make a KTSA call on Paramount Chief Gawa Undi. On the Malawi side, I'll also meet uh, our senior chiefs, Zulu, and uh, the other chiefs that are on the border posts. So once we meet, then we'll see whatever conflicts occur from time to time, they should be able to resolve them. At the top, the presidents are talking, they are working together. So on the, at the grassroots, we should do the same. The district, district commissioners should also be meeting from time to time. In Kos Yamakosi Mbelo V, as one of the special envoys and a brother to Inkos Mpezeni, maintains on the importance of the unity and oneness. You know, um, these borders came in way after we people had already settled. Um, so for us, there's no borders. You can see if you move around here, you'll find a lot of people are coming from Malawi. Um, Zimba, um, we've got uh, um, Chinji, where the Ngoni settlements are. It's not just Ngoni settlements. You can also see uh, we, here with us, we had the uh, um, uh, acting paramount Kaduya all the way from uh, Mulanje. You can see that the... Uh, um, this is bringing us together. Uh, be, besides bringing us together, there's been a lot of trade that has happened here. Um, you've seen um, people have, have been trading. People have come with goods from Malawi, so too are buying from here. So these activities, um, they're not just promoting uh, the cultural gatherings, but also the economic activities that are between uh, these two countries. So we, I know people have brought goods uh, from Malawi side. They're selling here, um, and, um, and, and they're also benefiting. Others who buy, uh, things from here and then trade in Malawi. So you can see it's just it's way beyond um, the cultural uh, beliefs that we have. It also ex uh, expounds to um, 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 the economic activities that are there. So we promote because even the trade that is there, Malawi and Zambia, in terms of cattle, people uh, exchange, uh, they, they trade a lot in terms of cattle. So there are a lot of things that we can uh, talk about. The seed, um, 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 when now, now when it's harvest time, um, it's either uh, Malawi produces more, uh, Zambia produces less, and then it comes from the other side, goes to the other side. So that's, that's, that's how things are in terms of economic um, activities. There are a lot of economic activities. So this coming together like this will help us know each other, familiarize with each other, that by the end of the day when we're doing these trades, everyone else is uh, um, um, familiar with the people that are trading off. As the Ntwala 2022 finished, the car was slaughtered by the hands of the Ngoni warriors in a brutal battle style of killing, and the cup of blood and roasted meat were presented to King Mpezeni in honor of the Ngoni culture. <laughs>